Welcome to RV.net. We're here at the 10th anniversary of the rally in beautiful, sunny Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now, you're going, Brian, why give us a weather forecast? Because even though it's sunny and beautiful outside, our next guest is packing them in <laughs> inside. On a beautiful day, I should tell you, it's 3 p.m. when we're recording this. The show itself officially closed an hour ago, and the biggest crowd I've seen all week is for our next guest. And I also want to say, before I introduce him, when I first started blogging on RV.net, this is the guy I called. I had no clue what I was doing. So I said, you know what? Bob's always been a great writer. Oh, I didn't want to give away who you were. They know your face anyways. Bob's always been a great writer. I know I could reach out to him. He was very gracious, very helpful. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to spend a couple minutes and learn about here at Seminar A from my good friend, Bob Diffley. Bob, how are you, sir? I'm great, Brian. Good to see you. God love you. It's like I said, it's sunny. Yep. It's beautiful. Yep. Everyone should be out kicking around, playing golf, doing whatever, and they're all packing into Seminar A to hang out with you. Well, the funny thing about this is uh, I did the first seminar of the rally. It was 8.30 on Thursday morning, which would they, they called early bird days. And they turned away more people than, than I could fit in the room. And so at that time, they begged me to do a, another seminar, and they scheduled it at probably the worst time that it could be, which is the last day of the rally, the last hour. And so I didn't expect anybody to show up. But as you'll see when we go inside, the, the place is packed. And it's, it, it amazes me how many people want to find out about boondocking, and especially how it ties in with the whole green concept sure. that we're doing today. Because as you know, if you live in a house, and you have an electrical appliance, you just turn it on. You can leave it on as long as you want. The electricity's always going to be there. If you're taking a shower, you can take a one hour shower, you're not gonna run out of water. And your waste tanks in your house are not gonna pull up because you don't have any. They go right out the sewer. Well, boondocking, it gives you the sense of being uh, conscientious in the use of natural resources. If you turn on your microwave oven, your batteries are dead in no time. If you run your shower, take a 20 minute shower, your holding tanks are full and now you have to leave. And the same with any kind of electricity if you use too much. So boondocking is the type of thing that gives you the incentive to use less resources, have less of a footprint on the earth. And I think that's why a lot of people in here are here today is to see how they can have a less of, a, of an imprint and live more green. A few years ago when I gave this class, it was mostly people wanted to get out into nature and enjoy nature and save a few dollars on campgrounds. And now the green thing is becoming a very much a big part of boondocking. And, and these people in there were telling me that they really want to learn how to do this for all those reasons. Very cool. And I will tell you that the old adage, they save the best for last. Clearly, that fits in here. One of the best. You're going to want to take a peek at the seminar. We're going to stick our head inside for the introduction. But I want to thank Bob. Well, thank Bob, you. not just for today, but for the phone call when I first found you and everything that you've done to teach me about dry camping uh, and boondocking. I'm going to leave you with one other metaphor. They say an hour across the table from a wise man is worth a year's study in books. This is absolutely my mindset. Listen, the sound, there's another bus pulling up. There's like 50 other people getting off just to come out and hang out with you. We're going to head inside and see some of the crowd that Bob's drawing in. Stick around. Public lands. 655 million acres of land that are out there for you to use. And most of that land is going to be boondocking land, meaning that you can camp on it anywhere you don't have all the amenities of life. But as you know, there's a big interest right now in going green, saving money, getting out into nature, and using the resources of your RV. And boondocking gives you all that, because you will find when you get out there that the less water you use, the less waste that you create, the shorter period of time you run your electrical appliances, means the longer you can stay out there in this super neat spot that you found by a babbling brook with a trout are jumping into your frying pan. <laughs> and elk are feeding in your backyard. And bald eagles are swooping overhead and the meadow larks are singing in the morning. And why would you want to leave? The only reason you have to leave is because you've gone to the limit of your resources. So what we're going to talk about here is utilizing those resources and being conservative in their use. 
there you have it, a little snippet of one of the most popular seminars here this week at the rally in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Our good friend Boondock Bob giving his class boondocking on public lands. For more information, you can check him out on RV.net or also his own website, HealthyRVLifestyle.com. For RV.net, I'm Brian Brody.